Hello and welcome to Chili Bee Gaming. I'm Evie and today we're back with some more Control as part of our Sunday Fun Day playlist. And last time we were chasing Hartman to the Eagle Limited AWE area. So, let's get into it. Shoop. Ha ha ha. And we got here last time. So I think we've now restored the power because we came down from there. So I think we can now go open this. And um confront the wanky swine <laughs> okay oh I don't like this though it's kind of spooky spooky faces okay I think we have to just leg it over here lots of dark corners to hide in mm hmm okay let's get the lights on and clear him out yep okay okay this is this is this is this is not good really mean to do that, but that's fine. Okay. <laughs> Alright. So, we're here. These. I think we just have to press the button now. No? What? Oh, we have to wait for it to get in position. Okay. Boom! Hartman, how would you like that, baby? Go on, burn. Look at him. Oh, it's so creepy, dude. Ugh. Hey, aren't running off too now? Oh, he's always running off to somewhere, isn't he? Uh, okay. Uh, Dead in its tracks. Okay. Let's, we'll have a little look around, first of all, before we disappear anywhere else. Ugh. Stinky. What's this? Okay. Okay. Ballistic ground slam boost. Ooh. All right. We'll follow Hartman in a moment, like I say. We'll just have a little look around. See if there's any files, folders, documents, anything that would be of use, or some health even. That would also be very nice, very useful. Anything over here? No, doesn't Oh wait, yes there is. What's that? Ah, critical dodge efficiency. Well Okay. Anything else over here? Any files, folders, documents, anything of any interest to us. Doesn't look like it, does it? Well... God bless it! Never mind. Okay, what was that? The weird noise. Okay. So what do you suppose... So... Hmm. Was the... Eagle Limited AWE this train? What's this? I don't know whether I want to go in there yet. Let's just, um, what's down here? Ah, that will allow us to pursue Hartman. Hartman, sorry. Oh, Jesse, can we... Oh, okay. Maybe we can't. Alright. I think he went that way, didn't he? Okay. So what does this do? One does wonder. Oh! Oh! Bright lights! We're on a train! What's this? Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome aboard the Eagle Limited bound for Chicago. Please have your tickets ready and enjoy the ride. If only trains were this space, I say. What's this? Yeah. 
Good evening, all you fine-looking folks. Here's some smooth tunes to ease your minds and please your ears Ooh. as we wait for that delicious dinner to roll right on in. Okay. This is clinking, clinking, dinner being served. Lovely. Next stops Alton, Carlinville, and Springfield. That's Alton, Carlinville, and Springfield. Tickets, oh, please. that doesn't look good, Tickets. does it? Okay, let's let's do the hammer. Oh my god, fire, fire! Oh dear. So this looks like part of the train. Okay. So all these folks, um, yeah, died by the looks of it. Okay, Jesse, don't don't walk off the edge. Well, that was chaotic. Yeah. It felt like it was trying to tell me something. I wonder if I can make sense of it. Okay. Well, well, let's pursue Hartman then. Now, now that we've we've explored that. Yeah. I have a train crash. Yeah. I don't know. Let's go, Jesse. Let's get Hartman. Once and for all, do him in. That is. What? What? Hello? Okay. Ah. Uh, we need the light, I think, don't we? Okay, let's, um, let's read this. What's this? Eagle Limited Supplement. Okay, so Eagle, oops, Eagle Limited Supplement. The Eagle Limited AWE-44 details. The Bureau has gathered concrete evidence that the train derailment was in fact the work of a paracriminal group known as Redacted, which, according to the Bureau's intel, has shown a concerning interest in experimenting with the artificial manufacturing of altered materials. Knowing the group largely operates in the American Midwest, the Bureau worked alongside the FBI to ascertain their movements and rendezvous locations. This cooperation provided agents with information that led to an arrest in conjunction with the AWE case. Under suspicion of involvement, Redacted was brought in for questioning. An interrogation performed by agent Redacted resulted in the suspect being kept in a holding cell for two days without food in breach of Paracriminal Rights Act. Afterwards, the suspect confessed to his involvement in the Redacted group and provided information on other members in exchange for his freedom. Well, okay, interesting. Right, so I think we're going to need this light, by the way. So give me the light, and we will light it up, baby. Light it up. Um, wait, what's this button? Oh, we can't press it anyway. Okay. Um, Jesse, just put that down a minute. Thank you. Okay, I got my light. I'm ready. Let's light it up. Was it up there? Yes, I think it was, wasn't it? Okay. Okay. No. Ah, through here. All right. Here we cut. What is that? A picture of me or Jesse? Oh, My god, I look depressed. Oh! Oh! Oh no! Okay, I was too busy looking at a picture of myself. Okay, so I think we need to get through here. Like that. Jeez! Where's my light? There it is. Okay, let's just... Whoa. I don't like the balls of death. Wish we could kill them. Okay, what's this? Shaded specimen captured. Entity capture report. Reshaded specimen A-010, formerly Dr. Emil Hartman. Ah, here we go. Summary. An alert from the redacted WA monitoring station indicated minor redacted activity occurring in the area. 
Agent Estevez was dispatched to investigate. Inside the redacted lodge, she discovered the facility's former owner, Dr. Emil Hartman. He had been converted into a shaded individual, per definitions found in file 6-34-1923, and displayed violent behaviour characteristic of its type. Agent Estevez alerted the on-site research team to the specimen's presence, and, with some difficulty, it was successfully contained in a black rock cell. The cell and its inhabitant were transported safely back to HQ, where the specimen remains detained in the redacted sector as part of the redacted AWE investigation. Once the investigation is closed, research teams have petitioned to relocate this specimen to their sector for study. Refer to file 5-11-0203 for full report. Okay. I don't... I, go away, ball of death. You're poopy. Well, I hate the ball of death. Don't like it. It's awful. Is this where we could possibly have come through? Will it come through here? I think it will come through here, won't it? Okay. I think we're just going to have to leg it. Oh, yeah, we're going to have to just leg it. Okay. Get up here, Jesse. Can't reach you up here, girl. Uh, anything else? Alright, so... Okay, I nearly fell off the edge. Jeez Louise. Um, maybe we can go down here, this way. Okay. Oof. Okay. Let's just put the light down a minute. Like this. Okay. I've got my light. I'm all right. Again. Um, let's 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 put that down. And let's just just I don't know. Grab the table. There you go. That works. Anything else in here? Aha. Um, put that down, Jesse. Okay. What's this? <clears throat> motel complaint. Ooh, the motel. Yes. Hey Stu, did you hear about Fisher? Got himself in trouble in the motel. Why the hell does anyone volunteer to stake out that place? It gives me the creeps. But hey, at least he came back, if you can call it that. I saw some of the footage they pulled out of there with him. Tom down in evidence processing showed it me. Crazy stuff. Fisher had the cameras pointed at himself half the time. I'm guessing he went nuts on day one. He did catch something though. Got one of those fibre optic cameras under the door of the room he was hiding in and recorded something out in the hall. Looked like a shadow. Maybe human? Tom tried to get the quality up, but it's still blurry as fudge. Just reaffirms my position. Stay the fudge out of the motel. Anyway, up for some shoom later. Lisa got up to an hour and 38 minutes yesterday. New record to beat. See you, Dave. Yes, we heard the recording, didn't we, of that, of that dude in the motel. Yes, I remember. Okay, so... Did we come from... Well, we came from that direction, so we want to go this direction. All right, all right, all right. Oh, another point. Okay. All right. Let me keep my light here. Claim the control point. Okay. Let's check this out now. It's just, just like a nail room. AWE Transit Bay. What's this? Oh yeah, oh yeah, this looks, oh yeah, we're screwed. We're absolutely screwed here. So I think we need to get to a light area. Which is exactly what we're going to do right now. Let's put that down. We need to get those lights. Alright, why? Terrible aim. Okay, something in here maybe. Ah yes, there's the power, but we need to get the power on, I think. I don't think we can just know. Okay. So we need power cells. Alright, power cells. Power cells. One, two, three, four of them. Good lord! Well, give me my light. Right, so we need four power cells. Ha, huh, okay. 
Oh god. Okay. Okay. Ow. Get your paws off me, you damn dirty dog. Okay, the unfortunate part of that is it shuts the light off. But well, we gotta get some power in here. Power core. Yes, 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 Jesse, I know. Okay, that's two. over there. Okay. Oh, you're in here, are you? Okay, last one, folks, last one. Here we go. Boom! Right. There's a switch. Have it, Hartman, you, you wretch! Die in a hole! Ugh. I mean, he went in a hole, he just didn't die in the hole. Okay, return to active investigations. Okay, let's, um. Uh... Okay. Do a little, little reconnoiter here. Gather up this health. Good God! So he jumped down here somewhere, did he? Could we not go down the hole and kill him once and for all? Down there? Because that's where he went. Is it not? Ah, um, let's just see. Return to active investigations. So what was down there in the utility room? Don't ask. Okay, can we go go down here? Oh, we can look. Okay. Well, we got Hartman at least. Okay, up, up we go. Thank you. Well. Just causing a stir. All right. Well, we'll head back to active investigations and then, um, well, go from there, I think. Uh, now, the question is, can we go through there, do you suppose? Just as a query. Active investigations. It's just, um, yeah. I don't think, see, we only have two. Ah, the hand-to-hand -hand combat thing, we don't really do it. Uh siege duration. Siege duration might be handy. Levitation duration. Oh, we only need two for that? Oh, oh, hell yeah. Levitation duration, that's for sure. Say that multiple times. Levitation duration, levitation duration, levitation duration. <laughs> I wonder what fresh nonsense is awaiting us now. We're back! Director, ma'am, great timing. 
Hartman just came through here? God, he was hideous. He tore the security door into the Brave Falls AWE site wide open. He was so ugly. Like, wow, I got a good look at him, and Christ, he does not look like he used to. The hiss must have messed him up or something. He, he, he looks like a, a bar rag that's been twisted by the world's strongest man. Or a monster from some 80s horror movie. All right. You know, back when it was all practical effects. Yep. Ugh, nasty. Real Did you say something? Nasty. Remember, I can't hear you. Never mind, just go after Hartman. Oh, so disgusting. All right, dude. Jeez. All right, so he's gone over here. Oh, this is not good, man. I've written it. Darkness wants to hide the past and make me lose Alan. my way. I trust what I read on these pages. I wrote them for a reason. Oh. Cut through the reality, tear it apart, and rewrite it. They are drawn to the mystery. Who? I I have to say, I'm rather loving this Alan Wake crossover. It's it's it just I don't know. Because everything that did happen in Alan Wake was weird, wasn't it? And it was very sort of, you know, AWE, kind of, pure old, weird things happening kind of, kind of deal. The Bright Falls AWE. I am very curious now. Okay, all right. Stuck. Let's go take care of it. Oh, yeah. Burn it! See, Alan could have done with a light like this. Look at that! Tearing through this. Go. Really? Okay, alright, 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 alright. All right. Well, there you go. God, it's dark in here. Give me that light. Let's see what I'm actually doing. Good lord. What's this? Okay. Well, I'll keep my little light with me just in case. Up. Ah. Can we continue onwards? Control point, beautiful. I will take my light, set it down here. What's this? What's that? Oh, sorry, I thought I saw something. Okay. Thank you for meeting with us again, Dr. Hartman. It's my pleasure, gentlemen. I hope the information I've provided thus far has been of some small use. It's been invaluable, Doctor. Really, we have a much clearer picture of this event, thanks to your accounts. Well, I consider myself a keen observer. Well, we did have one question, though. You mentioned in an earlier conversation that your patients displayed, and I'm paraphrasing here, unnatural abilities that you, in fact, encouraged during their time in your lodge. It'd be very helpful if you could fill us in on the details. Of course. Like yourselves, I work to understand and even bend the rules of our earthly paradigm. My patient's well-being was paramount, of course, but I would hardly be a man of science if I did not reach out at the underlying truth. As I stated in my written proposal, I believe working alongside your organization could be greatly beneficial to both parties. Sharing notes, as they said. Mm. Thank you, Doctor. That's all we need to hear. Remy? Dr. Emil Hartman, you have been found in breach of codes 4, 8, and 74 of the Federal Bureau of Control Criminal Offenses. What? You can't do this? I am a well-connected man. You're making a dire mistake, my friend. You will be detained until further notice and all personal property will be confiscated, including the Cauldron Lake Lodge. That's preposterous. You can't just seize my property. I'm a United States citizen. I have rights. That lodge is my life's work. I'm offering you years of research. Get him out of here. You're making a mistake. You have to listen to me. You have to listen. 
The problem is, Hartman, that they don't. They are the... the... Kind of like the men in black. <laughs> if the men in black dealt with, like, SCPs and stuff. Okay, is there anything else around here? Good God. Very dark, very dark down here. Okay. <sighs> Let's go. Okay. Okay, this is... yeah. This is nice. Um. Oh, we're going back to the hotel or something? Okay. Uh, or, yeah, okay. One, two, three. Yep, yeah, we're back I in the hotel. I forgot again. I had a plan. I know it. I forgot. Okay. So, okay. Whatever is going on with Wake, he clearly needs some help. Yeah. So that's like Wake's door. And this is the the our door. So who do all the other doors belong to? I wonder. Never mind. Don't ask those questions. Let's um. Is he in here? I suppose. Okay, so we're burning away the darkness. All right, next one. Ooh. On the bed and everything. Gross. All right. That's one. Is it going to be Hartman in here? I suppose. What? There we go. Federal Bureau of Control. We need to turn this. Where it should be, or I don't know. Let's 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 go and press the bell. Oh, we don't have to press the bell. What's this? A key. Going in bad. What? Wake had to escape, right? His escape. Wake needed a hero. A hero needed a crisis. For the part in the story about the government agency, Wake needed something special, something to convey an alien force mimicking human intelligence. Oh, I don't like the sound of this. What? You can't just leave that like that. Are we an alien? Is that the thing? Are we an alien? All right. Okay. Okay. Get the power on. Gladly. Oh, this this dude absolutely destroyed this place, didn't he? The Bright Falls AWE. Alright, so 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 another replica. Like the one they made for ordinary. I Should... wonder what happened here. Yeah. Should we ask him to send out a This is Director Faden. Send a ranger to my position. Here's the ranger. Let's do this. Yeah, let's let's do this, dude. Oh, hold on a minute. Let's not do it yet. Wait. Uh, okay, what's this? Uh, Alan Wake interview. Oh, Alice Wake interview. Excuse me, not Alan. 
Interview number 65-F-124, subject Alice Wake. Background. After reaching out to the Bureau, Alice Wake was brought into the oldest house for an interview on Redacted 2017. See file redacted for full transcript. Summary. The interview conducted by Agent Shah and Dempsey revealed that Mrs Wake has had recurring nightly visitations from her missing ex-husband in her New York apartment. Address redacted. Mr Wake appears out of nowhere and rushes at her down the corridor. According to her impression, he appears crazy and horrifying, clearly coming at her with violent intent. Mrs Wake believes that he is haunting her, insisting he is not Alan but a fudging monster in his body. Mrs Wake has not been sleeping out of fear of these visits. Her attempts to keep the lights on through the night results in the relevant hallway's light bulb breaking every night, possibly indicating involvement of the redacted. Further investigation required. We propose installing monitoring equipment in the apartment. Copies of supply request form L-501-4 have been sent to Mr Kirkland and administration for approval. So Alice got Alice got haunted. She got haunted by, by Alan. Oh, hang on, we need some light. Okay. Oh, we can't have light. Okay. All right. This is going to be fun. Um. This is this is a little toxic. Can I grab my light from here? Yes, I can. Look at that, baby. Now we can actually see. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. I think we just need to get in. Come on, Mr. Ranger. Come on. In here, please. Oh, God, all right. You'll, 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 you'll find your way. You'll find your way, mate. Okay, I can't see. Oh, yeah. There you go. What's this? Okay. 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 Oh, we're just picking up stuff now. Ah. I see. Love it. There you go. Okay. Can we, can we grab this, please? Oh, my God. Ah, we have to wait. We have to wait a minute. Where does it need to go, though? Put it down. Okay. Okay. We need to get over there. All right. All right. All right. We're in. Aha! Screw you, Hartman. You filthy animal. Needs to go over there, but what does it get there? Okay. Oh, apparently we got the lights on real quick. Where did he go? Where did he go? Where did he go? Oh, you're up there, are you? Some health. Oh god. Need to get some light, man. Pick up that box. We did it!
But investigations need someone to run it. Interested? I've seen what happens to sector heads, ma'am. No, thank you. Jeez. I'm getting something on my terminal here, an AWE alert from Bright Falls, Washington. What? But it might be a glitch. The date's all wrong, a couple of years in the future. And we're in lockdown. There shouldn't be any incoming signals. Maybe it was active before we went into lockdown? Are there agents on site? Let me check. Agent Estevez is the field agent in charge of monitoring the site, so she should be there to let us know if the situation has been through any major changes. Recently. Oh dear. Oh dear. Wow. Let me tell you, folks, that was an absolute battle royale. Good God. Oh, give me all this health. It took me so long to kill him. It's unbelievable. Oh, give me all this health, please. Thank you. Oh, lovely, lovely. But we did it. Hartman is no more. Thank God for that, because honestly, he was just a nightmare. So... Shall we... Oh, there's more help over there. We'll go and grab that. And then we'll have a look at what documents are around here and what we can um, read. We did pick up another document elsewhere, but we'll, we'll, we'll kind of... As we go. Okay. Bright Falls 1976 Summary. Ooh. Okay. Uh, there we go. Bright Falls AWE-10. Event Summary. An unconfirmed threshold manifestation occurred at Cauldron Lake, WA. The citizens of Bright Falls had gathered in the town's southwestern fields for the annual festival known as Deerfest. Eyewitnesses all claimed that the day had been sunny, confirmed by reviews of areas weather reports. But then, with no warning, a thunderstorm appeared in the direction of the Anderson Farm, and a tornado rose from Cauldron Lake. The torrential rain that followed caused a flash flood. It was as if the day had turned to night, testimony from Redacted. Frank Breaker, the Sheriff of Bright Falls, formerly a Bureau agent, see employee file redacted, managed to guide the crowd to safety as the festival grounds were destroyed by the flood. The festival was cancelled, ending one day early. Lack of official Bureau presence on the scene makes this event difficult to report as a confirmed AWE, though the similarity to other known events in the Bright Falls area lent credence to the accounts of the town's people. Yes. What was the other one we picked up? Oh. That was what we picked up. Fine. We did pick up another one here. Wake photograph. Look at that! Good God! Jeez! How awful. All right. Well, oh, sorry. Oh, that was exhausting. Well, what we'll this do... This must be where they studied Hartman. Yeah. Do you think? Kind of looks like Dylan's cell. I wonder if they treated him as badly. Maybe, maybe, maybe. So, okay. Well, do you know what, folks? I think we are going to leave it there for this time, actually. Uh, next time, we will continue onwards and see what else we can find out about this whole control slash Alan Wake crossover arc that appears to be going on at the moment. So until next time, be safe, be good, and look after yourselves.